Hey, what's up guys? Been a long time. Today I want to talk about an obscure piece of EU collectible that contains an EU short story that uh, not many people have, at least at the time this came out, didn't have, and it's Vader the Ultimate Guide. This came out in 2005. It was initially available at San Diego Comic-Con, and I think you were able to buy it online after that. I can't confirm that it's been so long, but um, it's something that, uh, you know, post-Revenge of the Sith was... Um, kind of a nice way of wrapping up these six films by providing truly the ultimate guide to Vader. Very simple, stark uh, design in a nice black cover, Vader the ultimate guide on the back. You can see, if you can get the light just right, you can sort of see a, a partially hidden Vader helmet. The spine, very stark, just, just basically says Vader the ultimate guide. Um, and, you know, not super long, but not super short. They are able to pack an immense amount of great content into this, right? Not just an EU story, but lots of cool background, um, both sort of in-universe stories and just general nonfiction about Vader and and conceiving of the character and, and, and of the various actors who play him. So in addition to the EU story that I'll talk about in a second that's in this, um, there's a bio of Anakin, an in-depth bio of, of, of Anakin. There's a cool sort of broad biography of the Sith in general, um, with a really neat visual timeline telling you things like, you know, when did the Sith go in hiding? Um, when did, um, when was like the, uh, the Trade Federation, uh, created? Uh, when was Qui-Gon born? Um, when was Dooku born? When was Yoda born? It's easy to remember, or it's easy to forget, I should say, that, you know, 2005 really was a long time ago from a digital perspective, right? I mean, we've got lots of great resources now to take advantage of. If we want to know how old Dooku is, we can go look that up on Wikipedia, right? There's lots of sources that might tell us that. But, you know, if if what you were looking for was something for the shelf, if you're looking for something physical, if you were at Comic-Con wondering these things, excited by the end of this, you know, great film, you know, set of trilogies, right? Wanting to know everything about Vader. This was the ultimate go-to guide, right? This is sort of like your, not things like Wikipedia existed, right? But there were still enough people that wanted it in book form. And it was a nice sort of physical confirmation of a lot of these, a lot of these basic facts. It's, it's a wonderful sort of one-stop shop. In addition to what I just mentioned, there was um, more background articles just about the, the character himself and, and how, they, how they perceived him and how they conceived of him and, and the different sorts of ways in which he, you know, he may have been presented in the films, right? Um, there's uh, interviews with the different actors that portrayed him, like James Earl Jones and Hayden Christensen. There's a cool little article, too, about different um, Vader collectibles over the years. Fun stuff like, you know, um, obviously the action figures, but even things like Vader bath soap bottles and things like that. Really neat. But what's really cool is there's a section of, um, of uh, Vader posters that sort of reminded me of this really cool reference guide that came out in 2005 as well by uh, Stephen Sansweet called uh, The Star Wars Poster Book. It was published by Chronicle Books. It's, this is something that I think is is unfortunately neglected by a lot of EU fans. I, I know there's a lot of folks that don't necessarily care about the reference books and whatnot. Um, I think that's a shame. I think what's really cool about this from an EU perspective is that there's a whole section they call the Interregnum, um, by which they just mean sort of the period between the two original trilogies where they get to put on display a lot of really cool posters and images and promo items and stuff from the EU era, the early EU era. So, you know, you're seeing promo posters for the early Bantam books and stuff, really worthwhile. But the, the section of the collectibles and the Vader Ultimate Guide sort of reminded me of that. I sort of thought it was worth mentioning. I think that the, the Star Wars poster book is, is worth picking up if you're into that type of thing. Um, finally, there's some cool sort of Vader trivia in the, in the Ultimate Guide that's also kind of fun. Again, stuff that you could find now and stuff you'd be able to answer based on a lot of digital resources that are available now. But again, how cool was it at the time in 2005 to have this in kind of a one-stop shop fashion? Well, one of the things that I've been alluding to, the short story that made this essential for a few years, is the Karen Travis short story, In His Image. Um, it's a short one, but a great one. Um, it takes place just after Anakin becomes Darth Vader. And, you know... Um, is a glimpse into one of the many uh, times that uh, that Palpatine sort of tests his new apprentice. Um, I don't want to give anything away, um, but uh, you know Vader passes the test, but learns a little bit more about his his place in the new empire. You know, it's not going to be his to rule, and 
he's certainly no longer a Jedi now, but he's sort of stuck in the middle, sort of subservient to, to the Emperor. Um, so it's an important sort of insight into, into Anakin adapting to his new, uh, his new life um, as a student of the, of the dark side and as, you know, as a basic, basically a slave of Palpatine worth picking up. And again, like I say, for a few years was essential because this was the only place it was published. Um, and an article that sort of was kind of obscure for a while too, because, you know, unless you were at that Comic-Con or unless you were in collecting circles and knew enough to know to go out and look for this thing online, you were just not going to be aware of the article. Fortunately, a few years after it came out, they put the article in the back of the paperback edition of of, uh, of Betrayal. This is the first uh, the first book in the Legacy of the Force series. Um, so the nice thing is that if you have now heard about In His Image and can't find a copy of Vader the Ultimate Guide online, and they're not super available, well, this you can pick up at, at any Barnes & Noble or on Amazon right now, no problem, right? So the good news is the article is now available. Um, if you only have this, though, not the Vader Ultimate Guide, again, I, I think I've made the case that there's a ton of stuff you're still missing, which is why it really is worth trying to track this thing down. Now, the trick is, how do you get it? Well, it um, it is occasionally available online uh, on eBay and whatnot. You know, you may get lucky sometimes and find it in a used bookstore, but um, rarely. Again, there's a limited number. It was an exclusive, you know, given away at a convention. Um, but they're out there. They're out there. Um, and, uh, you know, the prices can vary. Um, it's definitely more costly than just getting the paperback of Betrayal, right? But again, I think because of some of the additional stuff in it, it's worth it. And if you're a completist like I am, if you want not just all the stories, but really all things EU, everything from sort of the pre-2014 Legends era, then it's worth it's worth picking up. And it really is a cool a cool collectible, sort of a cool conversation piece, I think, within your broader EU collection because it's it's an exclusive. It's something not everyone has. And it's one of those things, too, that because of how obscure it is, because of the way it was distributed, it's the sort of thing I found that some EU fans don't even know exists um, because it's not often on your sort of traditional lists of things to read. You know, here's your here's your chronological reading order. Well, you know, read Vader the Ultimate Guide because what you're going to see instead is just the In His Image Karen Travis story, and it's most cases going to point you to the paperback of Betrayal, which is which is fine, which is the more economical way of going. But again, if you want the whole collection, just know that things like this are out there, and it's worth doing some sort of extra searches. And I think in a way, this, this is another great example of just how truly expansive the EU is. Whenever someone tells me that they have the complete collection or they've read everything, um, it's it's a great opportunity to remind them that, well, there's probably things they don't even know they don't have. And I sort of feel like the EU is sort of fun in that way. No one really has a complete collection. In fact, no one really even has the complete list of all the things to collect. And that's not to say that therefore people's lists are deficient. It's more that there is so much EU content that, you know, even Lucasfilm from time to time struggles to remember everything, you know, from earlier eras or, you know, which which publishing house had what license for what article this year. It's really exciting. So there's a number of lists and reading orders and stuff online that I think in aggregate tell most of the story. But it's almost inevitable that even five years after the decanonization and rebranding of the EU as Legends, um, we're still occasionally finding stuff that was basically lost, you know, EU content that was lost, um, stuff that wasn't published or stuff that was published in obscure places that folks forgot about. And to a minor degree, the Vader Ultimate Guide is one of those things, right? Um, it's, uh, it's by no means rare, but it's certainly one of those things that I think people don't go about looking for anymore, partially because they don't need it if they just want the stories. Like I say, you can get Betrayal, but if you're a completist and if you want everything, it's worth it's worth picking up. So thanks for, thanks for checking this out. Uh, I hope you're subscribing. I'd like to be doing more of this as I've shuffled some of my EU collection around. I've been finding more of the obscure stuff. And if there's some sort of obscure piece of EU collectible that um, you want to know more about, let me know and I'll try and dig it up and do a quick video on it. In the meantime, may the force be with you and I'll talk to you all later.